We are catching up with Living, which has earned Bill Nye a long overdue Best Actor Oscar nomination. He is stupendous in this and always a joy to see in everything he does. Alonzo, please tell us about it. The results have come back. It's never easy, this. Quiet. Sure, so this is a remake of the classic Kurosawa film Ikiru from the 50s. It's been adapted by Kazuo Ishiguro, who is up for best adapted screenplay. He previously did the script for Remains of the Day. Um, and so the, the, the action has been transposed from Japan to post-war England. It's, you know, 1950s. Everything is very buttoned down and stayed. And, um, you know, Bill Nye plays this very emotionally closed off bureaucrat who basically spends his days kind of, you know, moving the paperwork into a place where it's not going to bother anyone or trying to <laughs> shove it off on another department. And he's very good at that. Uh, and then he gets a diagnosis that he is dying and realizes that he has no idea how to live. And while he, you know, he tries a few things and he, you know, goes off to a, a seaside resort, you know, um, eventually decides that what he's going to do is use his power as a bureaucrat to help these housewives uh, get a uh, the site of a bombing in London uh, that's now like dangerous and you know full of junk and sewage uh, turned into a playground for the neighborhood and how that affects not only his life but um, people around him, his family, his coworkers, and. Um, this is a lovely movie. It's very sweet. And, and Nye's performance is delightful. It, it operates at a level of subtlety that I wish the movie was always matching because mm. I think the movie has a tendency to let you know every single thing you're supposed to know in case you weren't paying attention and spelling it out for you in a very clear way when I think they could have sort of, you know, they could have trusted you to pick up on things the way that Kurosawa does in the original movie. The original movie, by the way, also in, in, in an adaptation of an old uh, Tolstoy short story. This is directed by uh, Oliver Hermanus, a, a South African filmmaker that I'm a big fan of. I don't know if you saw Mafi a few years ago. Mm -hmm. um, Did we review Mafi? We I know might I've have, seen it. actually, okay. yeah. Yeah, he did a film called Beauty that we screened at Outfest that is like one of the most devastating films I've ever seen. It's really oh, wow. intense. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, this is like they get the period stuff absolutely right. And I think it's a good fit for this material. The idea of this button down bureaucrat who who has just sort of like buried himself literally in a way in paperwork and 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 in this sort of like maze of how things work. You know, you buy it as being a, a British thing as much as you buy it as being a Japanese thing. Um, but Ikiru is so haunting and beautiful and powerful and is such a punch to the gut. And this movie is nice. I have to admit, I've never seen Ikiru. Ooh, I, I, this falls <laughs> in the category of I envy you getting to see it for the first time. Well, maybe you and I at some point can come back and do that. Sure. You know, I'd like that very much. It's got to be screening on Criterion or someplace, I, I right? I believe it is on Criterion. Channel. So let's do that because I always enjoy going back and revisiting classic films with you. It's always a pleasure. So, um, so I had not seen that. Having said that, yes, the structure is very familiar. You know where this is going to go, but it's in the, the lovely little details that it is so worthwhile. And just off the top, just from the opening titles, mm -hmm. it is such a like beautifully appointed and lush throwback to a yeah. certain era of filmmaking. Like you truly feel as if you were watching a film that was made in the 1950s. Everybody loves doing right? the title card now yeah. with the copyright information under it. Yeah. Poker face does it. And like, that's the new retro <laughs> thing that everybody loves. And I'm down for it. I've always enjoyed that. So. Give me those Roman numerals. <laughs> I want them all. No, but the whole opening <laughs> sequence of like, what the hustle and bustle of London is like and people yeah. are like taking their buses and everyone's getting off the train. Everyone's in the same suit and the same hat and they're all like walking up to the same ramp to work and everything. Got to give a shout out to the great Sandy Powell, legendary yes. costume designer who did all the clothes here because Bill Nye is wearing, you know, like this perfect little chalk stripe suit. But then even like the, the women, um, Amy Lou Wood, who is the young woman in his bureaucracy, his office, who kind of helps him see the the worthwhile nature of life. Like every little dress she has is mm -hmm. just perfect. But it's not in an overly showy way. It just feels like perfect. Appropriate. Yeah. Totally. Um, yeah, this just grabbed me from the very get-go. And 
you feel the slow burn of his evolution, but the way that that reveals itself in, in the tiniest moments, whether it's like sneaking off for an expensive lunch in the middle of the day or just sitting on a park bench or going to the amusement area and like playing with the claw game <laughs> thing, like the, the tiniest ways that he finds joy are so fun. I want to mention also the one of the people who helps him is the guy who played Orson Welles in Mank, Tom Burke. Yes, who's from the Souvenir movies. Yes, he helps him. He's one of the people who like helps shepherd him along the way on his journey of discovery. And those scenes have a lot of chemistry and a lot of crackle mm -hmm. because they couldn't be more different. He's just got this giant personality. He's just this like ne'er do well Lost man girl. about town, <laughs> right? Totally. And and but they see something in each other that feels really genuine, and it just. The way that everybody has to reevaluate him as he opens up and learns to reevaluate himself is so touching, is so moving. Yes, that journey is obvious, but it's so beautiful along the way that I was totally into it. And there's um, a shot toward the end at the playground in the snow that is just, to use your word, like hauntingly beautiful. I thought so. Uh, yes, it, it is also a direct lift is it from a lift? the other. It feels yes. like it, yes. <laughs> so and, and so again, like I don't, I don't fault this movie for hitting on the things that worked in the previous ones. Like that, if you're remaking a classic, you kind of have to do that. But I feel like the way that Kurosawa and his collaborators tell the same story, there are these, there are just sort of grace notes in terms of character moments that we're allowed to discover for ourselves that happen in a way that are very clear that they're happening. And I feel like there are moments here where Ishigu Ishiguro doesn't trust us and he has, no. and somebody has to say a thing or they're, you know, they have to, the camera dwells on something and it's like, okay, movie, we're, we're, we're all paying attention. It's good. You know, you don't have to hold our hand quite so much, but yeah, no, there's, there's a lot this movie does right. I think people should absolutely see it. But, but my thing is like, you, you should see living. You must see Ikiru. Okay, well, let's go must do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm saying nine because I thought it was totally beautiful. But then, like, let's go back and see Ikidu and see what I think in retrospect. <laughs> cool. I said seven and a half. Yeah, it was, it's worth seeing. I would not be surprised if Bill Nye won just because this is the kind of film that gives him a lot of really great moments that I think are going to yeah. land with people. And, and just, you know, he's... Uh, of all the nominees this year, like, I think, you know, he's the, this veteran that everybody has loved his work for so long and he's never really gotten his due over here. So, right. So you weren't at our LA film critics dinner where he was no. our best actor winner, totally beloved in the room, like oh, rapturous great. applause, a wonderful, yes. warm welcome for him. So maybe that kind of sentiment does carry over. We'll find out in a few weeks.